hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on this gold floral stand that you can use for any event um this stand for this particular video is going to be used for a birthday party so i want to come on here and show a review and show you guys how you can style it if you have any questions or comment please put them down below i'll be sure to respond if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload for me and if you're old returning to my channel thank you guys for tuning in with me today so this gold cake stand was purchased from amazon i will put a link down below so you can see where you can purchase it from um it comes with four uh eight legs and a top and bottom let me move this off so you can see this is how it comes just this as is if if you can see the break right there it's on four sides those are the legs so you got four pieces here at the top then four pieces at the bottom and then the bottom um face and then the top face that's it this size is a is a 32 inch tall floral stand and the size of the top face is 11 by 11. so what i did you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get some plywood, cut it down to fit right on top of here. Now, mine is not that even or exact, but it will do. It works. It's nice and flush. I had them to cut it down for me to fit exactly on top. Now, Lowe's would not cut it because they said their machine doesn't cut exact. So, if you got a saw, do it yourself. If not... Um, you can try to see if somebody do it for you at, at Lowe's or Home Depot. Try your luck. If not, you'll be hand sawing it yourself. All right. So the way I'm going to put this on here is with my fishing line. This is the fishing line I'm using to tie this down because this is metal and I can't drill this in to get the boards to stay. You, there are some other stands out there that you won't have to do this step. But in this particular video, I have to do this step for this one. So all I'm doing is taking my fishing line and I'm going underneath the board and I'm tying it off. This will help your board from not moving around on you or slipping off. See, doesn't move, right? But we're gonna do it the other way as well. Under, put it across, get my scissors, measure that off, and tie it. And you want to make sure you tie it a few times. All right. So now, as you can see, this will keep your board in place. Now, I've been using this foam a lot, a lot. So you will see some holes on it. But that's fine. So all I need is two blocks. You want to get this from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And then you want to get your hot glue gun. 
and glue this down. So just put some glue all on your edges. Do the same thing so with this one i'm gonna put it on the bottom and then i'm gonna put some here on the inside So now we can go ahead and start with our floor. The floor you can get from anywhere, Michael's Hobby Lobby online, um, AliExpress, Amazon, wherever you prefer to get your floral, get it from there. Um, I'll put a link down for today's floral in, this in today's video. I'm going to be using some um, leaves here. I forgot the name of these, but I'll put a link down below as I said it. Um, so you just want to, they come in a box like this from Amazon. Get it. Ling's moment. And very nice packaging that they brought. Here I see. leaves come like this so this is how it comes and I'm just cutting it off the amount that I need with my handy dandy floral wires I have to do seven of these, so I have two boxes of them. So what you want to do, here's your branch, just cut pieces off like that. And this one, I've just been putting like two in each corner to start off. We have our leaves. And now we're just going to stick these in the corner. Make sure they're facing down, they're facing the right way. What I'm doing is looking for the longer ones and sticking those in here. 
in the corner. And if it don't look full, you know, you can just add more. However you want to do it. This one looks a little scarce over here. We'll put some more over here. And do the same for this side. So there's the stems. Now you can put more stems in here if you like, but I think I'm just gonna do the corners only. Now we're gonna start off with north, south, east, east and west with the floral. This is another pretty flower that I got off of Amazon. And when you put these in, you wanna make sure that it's covering the bottom of this. Then you want to fluff it out. Also, if you reuse your flowers, make sure you always dust them off. Make sure you package them back up right. So when you get ready to use them again, they won't be like flip, like laid down and flimsy. And see, this was in the bag. So all you gotta do is, you know, fluff them back out. Then here are the sticks that they come with. And you just stick that on the hole. And voila. And then you just cut this down. I'm cutting mine down. If you see this here line here, so I go up to the next line. Just snip that off. And that's still a little bit too tall. We'll snip it again because this is actually going on the end. Because we want it to be underneath the stand. All right, so we got north, south, east, and west. Now we're going to fill in the sides and the top. And I just have different variations of flowers. These, I believe I got these from Hobby Lobby a while back. These pink ones and the purple ones. I'm gonna be taking a bunch of different random flowers to fill this in. And you might see me just stick some in, in place until I'm ready to use them. Nice little purple ones. I don't remember where I got these from, but they look similar to these pink ones. So 
I'm sure they're probably from Amazon. Sometimes whatever I do on one side, I will also do it on the other. And as you go, you want to try to keep this round as possible. You want, you want to start off with putting all of your fuller flowers on first. And then you can go in with all the random flowers. And see, some of these stems are too short, so I'm trying to find the ones that have the longer stems, or you can just re-stem them by ordering some stems from Amazon. However you like. And you will have to go back and forth between your flowers to see what fits. And I really don't want these to be that low. I need them to be up to this height right there. So... <clears throat> Some longer stems as I'm searching through my big box over here. Whenever I find some that have a little longer stem, I go in there with that. Another purple one. If I have another one, then I'll stick those on the side. And I want to bring those up so it don't be so flat. And then what I'm going to do is with these smaller ones, I can go in there with these. Then I'm going to take this pink flower. Not sure where I got this one from. I will stick it right there. Let's finish filling this in. 
This one is too short. I want to know, I kind of like these purple ones here. It's next to these purple ones. So let's do that. So we can cut this stem down some. in the space, fill in the space we have there, and see a little gap there, the pink here, all right, so you, you just have to look all around your flowers to see what needs to be filled in and fluffed out, so this side is complete, let's move on to this side, I believe we have some pinks here. And this is just filling in this round shape right here at the bottom. That's all I'm doing. And I'm gonna stick that halfway in there. Now, we're going to find another pink. Sometimes I have to work back to where I was so I can keep the shape to go all the way around. So I go in this little space here. <clears throat> Ooh, I found another purple one. I will use that on another one. This stem is too short, so we need a taller one. Take that one out, see if we can find another one. position this one Let's 
Now this light of pink is gonna have to come down right here. So I already about figured where I want to put that one. Right here. Now we need to fill in this. Too short. Here's a longer one. in there somewhere. And those little spaces at the bottom that I see. Okay. Moving on up. something longer here again we need another bush here we go and let's change out the stem one over. We can get the rose there, but we need to change the stem probably. Let's see. Oh, nope, we don't. It works. Now this is not going to be able to go here because it's too long. I meant too short. Probably up there, maybe. It's too much of a gap here. Lose this purple one. And we're going to come in with another flower there. Change the stem. Actually, here's one. A little long enough. See how far we need to go out.
Okay. Now we can fill in this. over here somewhere um we could put one right there it's kind of stay up all the space like right? I'll take up something. Then I'm really not going to finish this on camera with you all, but I just want you to get the gist of it. And then the last thing that I will do is finish off with these vines here. I also will be using these. Here's the end. These are also on Amazon. And once you get it fully complete, you just find a place and stick it in there. And you can drape this however you like for it to look like that. So I'm gonna show you a finished one. Which are these. These two are the finished ones. And then you can also put some hanging crystals in the inside and you can actually hook them up onto the stream that you have under here that you put. You can hook them up any way that you like, hanging globes. So this was my finished project. I wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions, please like, like rate, and subscribe. And Leave your questions and comments down below. I'm sure to respond. I, again, I will put all the links down below for some of these flowers that I have found in the stands. Until next time, y'all have a good one. Bye.